Hi, this is the Texas Weekly Newsreel. The crunch time has begun over at the legislature. There are just more than five weeks left, and the number crunchers over there have started to compare. The Senate has sent 660 of its bills to the House. The House only 125 bills to the Senate, and they're wondering where their hostages are. So they're starting to count, they're starting to compete, and they've got uh, five weeks to wind it all down. The Senate committee voted out the education bill that lowers the number of tests and answers a question that was asked of all the candidates during the last election cycle, which is how come there are so many standardized tests and why are our children doing this? Uh, it also eases high school graduation requirements, which has become a point of contention. It sets up a debate before the full Senate later and then a conference with the House where it has already passed to settle differences. The House passed a bill that makes texting while driving a crime. They passed the same legislation last session as did the Senate, but it was vetoed by Governor Rick Perry who said while it's reckless and irresponsible to text and drive, it's also, quote, a government effort to micromanage the behavior of adults. He vetoed it last time. There's not any indication yet whether he'll veto it again this time. And finally, Rick, Governor Rick Perry told House Republicans this week that he wants their help enabling a long-term debt program to pay for transportation to be started with seed money from the Rainy Day Fund. And earlier in the week, the governor called for $1.6 billion in business tax cuts. I'm calling for uh, a 5% across the board cut to the existing franchise tax rate. Um, this will apply to every business, large and small, currently paying the franchise tax. Secondly, I'm calling for a $1 million business tax deduction for any company with annual total revenues of $20 million or less. And that's this week's Newsreel.